I am not taking this guy home. Well, this July, Spokane will celebrate the 30th anniversary of Benny and June. Uh, the film means a lot to many in the city, especially those who were extras in that movie. Yeah, to celebrate the anniversary, a group of extras and fans of the movie are making a short film themselves, telling about their experience from the time Hollywood came to Spokane. Tonight at 6, Bronte Sirotsky spoke with people behind this short film about the importance of Benny and June being filmed in Spokane. Here at Ferguson's Cafe was one of many landmarks in Spokane featured in the movie Benny and June. Now as the movie gets ready to hit its 30th year, extras in the film that are still in the city are doing something special for the anniversary. Of course, Ferguson's is where one of the most iconic scenes of that film was shot right mm -hmm. there, you know, with Johnny Depp and the, the forks and the, and the, and the rolls. It's been 30 years, so it may take a second to recognize Don Hamilton from the film. Yeah, check the ECOD. A minute. Be me in the office. Oh. UPS guy is a is a guy whose name was Jack, uh, and uh, you know just part of the the milieu of people there in in Benny's car clinic. Hamilton says, as a Spokenite himself, he'll always remember his experience in the movie. About the big impact that Benny and June had on our lives here in Spokane. He's working with fellow Spokenite Ashley Graham to celebrate this film as it hits 30 years. Together, they're working on a short film to showcase the experiences from extras. We track down many of those people and have been able to chat with them and get their stories on film. And so as part of this whole celebration that we're putting together, um, my partners at Hamilton Studio are putting together this short film. Once the film is done, it'll be used to showcase just how impactful this movie was to the city and to the people still living here 30 years later. They can talk about meeting Johnny Depp. They can talk about walking on set. Whatever their story is, and all of them are so unique. On July 15th, this group will host a screening of the film at the Garland, as well as a short film featuring all of our local extras. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now.